Okay, we're going to do some activities out of this book, okay? I'm going to ask you to uh, solve some problems and answer some questions for me. Okay? You ready to begin? All right. Put your finger on the box with two kittens. The study of human development seeks to understand how and why people either change or remain the same as they grow older. What are these? This exploration is based on systematic methods of research. Scientists use principles and procedures designed to produce the most objective results possible. In other words, a scientific methodology. Now listen, point to your mouth. Very good. Hi, Mrs. Chow. Um, this is Liz calling from the NICHD Early Child Care Study. Um, is this a good time to do the phone interview with you? Okay, great. It'll take about 20 minutes. All right. Research methodology is extremely important for psychologists to understand in exploring human behavior because the methods can lead you in a particular direction in understanding of the human experience. And depending on the kind of method you use, the method can limit the kinds of questions you're able to answer. So research methodology is really a, a very integral part of the practice of science. Mm -hmm. Get them on then. Okay, so here she's trying to occupy herself. Yeah, so I think this is actually a good example then for the um, how much you can let them go on, because she did seem pretty distressed, but she was um, still holding it together, mm -hmm. and she's actually going back now and recovering, collecting her objects. Comfort toys. Yep. At the core of any science so, is the scientific method, sort of a procedure that provides a way to answer questions by gathering together. evidence and drawing conclusions as objectively as possible. Research methodology, or the scientific method, should really be thought of as a way of thinking about problems. It's a perspective, a way to approach generating information about how the world works. 